Trade Union Ford reaching a tentative agreement. We talked about that yesterday, ending a nearly six week strike against that major automaker. The deal includes returning over 16,000 strikers to their jobs within days and a hefty pay raise for those workers. But the strike is not over yet for America's two other major automakers. Our Kelly Hubbard actually checking in with some local experts to see if this is going to have an impact for us in Louisiana. It will. It's just a matter of what degree. Kelly, good morning. That is right, Matt, and the strike continues at General Motor Motors, the nation's largest car company, and Stellantis. So the 29,000 members there will stay on strike until their companies agree to a similar package to the one reached with Ford. We talked to Donald, Dr. Donald Andrews, the dean of the College of Business at Southern University Baton Rouge, about what all of this means moving forward and if it could have any impact on Louisiana. He says if the supply chain is disrupted, there may not be enough vehicle parts, something many of you families and businesses are still working to navigate as you deal with the supply chain issues from the pandemic. It does impact us in the sense that you do have parts, uh, suppliers and things of that nature in terms of automobile being available to purchase if the strike continues where more or less the supply chain is disrupted and say automobile dealers don't have product on the market, also in terms of parts. And this is a signal more or less that, you know, it's going to not be long before GM and Stellantis come together and make a similar agreement. He doesn't think it's gotten to the point where parts have been disrupted, but if the strike continues on, that would impact you consumers at home. So which vehicles are being impacted the most? And if you've been having your eyes on a certain vehicle, should you pull the trigger and buy it before prices potentially go up? We talked to a Kelly Blue Book expert. We have more from him coming up at 530. But Dr. Steve, you don't need a jacket this morning. It's feeling great out here.